Good morning, everyone. My apologies um, uh, for late start. There were a few logistics that uh, we've been discussing in the commission. That's why we are uh, starting a, a few minutes late. Uh, Imam, you have the floor to offer prayers. Please go ahead. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إذن الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين وإن تستفتحوا فقد جاءكم الفتح نصر من الله وفتح قريب وبشر المؤمنين سمع الرحمن الرحيم قل والله أعد الله سمع لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أعد سمع الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من صر ما خلق ومن صر غاشق إجابة ومن صر نفاثات في الأقد ومن صر حاسد إجابة سمع الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إلى الناس من شر وسوس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما سبحان ربي رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين شكرا زيد غيز شكرا إمام سي بشوف يحب الفلو بليت Thank you chairman Lord God of grace, of mercy, of compassion, of love, of justice, as we continue to sit in the TRRC, we continue to ask that your love and compassion will embrace the whole people of this nation, the Gambia. As truths begin to come out, Lord, we ask that you will dampen the spirit of the people that the heart will be consoled by your Holy Spirit. Grant that each and every one in this land will be law-abiding citizens, that we will all allow the due processes to take its course. Grant us patience. Grant us a healing. Grant us reparation and uh, your own justice will come down at your own time. And so we ask that as we continue to hear things from victims or witnesses, we pray that you will give us the grace to be able to go along until the due time comes when you yourself will decide the way forward for this land. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you very much, my Bishop. Council, are we ready with this morning's witness? Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning, members of the audience. Um, we are ready to proceed with the next witness. Mr. Usher, can you please bring him in? I am in Baji. Do swear that. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I will speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Good morning, Mr. Witness. Good morning, Lord. Welcome to the TRRC. Um, today, 
I'd just like to go through some rules and regulations with you before we start. Can you speak clearly into the microphone and please speak loudly? I know that you're quite um, soft-spoken. So please, um, yeah, so please speak um, clearly and loudly into the micro microphone so that we can all hear you. Thank you. Also, just for ease of um, <coughs> interpreting with the interpreters, um, just allow me to ask my questions first before you respond. Um, as the interpreters are also interpreting in the local languages. Um, by the way, I believe I haven't um, introduced myself, but you know, as you know, my name is um, Sagar. So I'll be questioning you today um, on behalf of the commission. I will also like to go through um, the different topics we'll be treating in your testimony. We will look at your biographical information, which includes your personal information, your educational background, as well as your professional background, you know, the different places that you've worked in, your experience with the police force, um, and later with the uh, police intervention unit, um, also known as the PIU, and um, your transfer into the army, and subsequent uh, redeployment into the patrol team um, as well. We'll look at the experience you've had with the patrol team and um, also with the junglers in particular, um, as well as um, your involvement in particular um, with the death row inmates mm -hmm. in 2012, as well as any other experience you may have had. We'll also look at your subsequent arrest and detention and um, eventual release after the political impasse um, in 2016, 2017. Um, before we continue, may I ask you what language um, you would like to speak in? Mandinka. You would like to speak in Mandinka? Yeah. All right. Just so that the interpreter, interpreters can, can take note of that. Um, I would also like to um, just um, explain what your rights are before we, we continue with your testimony as well. You have the right um, to remain silent, and you have the right not to incriminate yourself. Um, the TRRC Act also, um, you have an obligation under the TRRC Act to tell the truth and also to answer any questions that may be asked, um, asked um, of you. Is that um, understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, interpreters, um, we still don't have any interpretation. The witness has indicated that he wishes to speak in Mandinka. I'll give you a few minutes just to set yourself up. Are the interpreters ready? Very well. Um, Mr. Witness, um, did you understand everything that I explained to you in English in light of the fact that you wish to speak in Mandinka? Would you like me to repeat um, my statements or do you understand and would you like to proceed now with the interpretation? I understand. Yeah, but yeah. Yes, I do understand. Sorry, can you please repeat that? He said he understood everything. So would you like to proceed now with your testimony? Um, yes, I'm ready. Okay. What are your names? I'm ready. What are your names? My name is Lamin Baji. Where do you live? I am from Kasa Kunda. Where is Kasa Kunda? Casa Kunda Bimintole. Uh, Combo Central West Coast Region. Combo Central West Coast Region. Is that where you were born? Akofo Iwuluta Osatel Tua. Uluta Waleto, Kuluta Waleto, Menta Waleto. I was born there, bred up, uh, brought up there. 
And um, what is your occupation? Uh, police already. Today I'm a police officer. Can you just give us a brief summary of your educational background? Just in brief, just tell us um, what schools you attended and which years. I started my schooling at the Kasakunda Primary School. After I left there, I went to Alpha Khan. Mana junior school Kyoto. I did my junior school in there. Abrimbota je ntata Muslim senior secondary school. When I left there, I went on to the Muslim senior secondary school. Abrimbota oro 2013. When I left there, 2013. Can I just um, interrupt? Um, <laughs> when did you leave um, school? You said 2013. 13. Is that accurate? Ako foye karango bang 2013 samulekon. Ah. Yes. Are you sure it's not 2003? Sorry, 2003, sorry. Very well. 2003, sorry, sorry. Yeah, please continue. But I don't know NYSS. From there, I went on to the NYSS. A sponsor said on a Saturday to me, Mansa We I had a sponsorship from my community, which is Mansa Kuli. That are NYSS. I went to the NYSS. I went there, the field I opted for was automotives. I started until the sixth, seventh month. I sponsor uh, Then my sponsorship had an issue. Uh, from there, I left and I then decided to join the police. In 2004. In 2004. Can you give us the date um, you joined the police force in 2004? I joined the police force in 2004. I joined the police on the 12th of December 2004. And what happened after you joined the police in 2004? I joined the police in 2004. After I joined, Tata recruitment. I went through the recruitment. A training ke kabo December for March. We started our training from December to March. Nada pass out. And then we passed out. Yes, samba kanifin PIU. And then I was taken to the kanifin PIU. Be kanifin PIU kabrin furada je karomina. When I got to the kanifin PIU on the, uh, at that month. Atara under seventeen be silokam. Uh, this under 17, we are on their way. Mr. Baji, can I just interrupt? I would just like to know what rank you were at the point you became, um, at the point you were transferred to the PIU after your recruitment. Constable. I was a constable. You were a police constable? Yes. Kindly take us through the different ranks that you held with the police. Just in brief, tell us what ranks um, you held as you progressed um, through your career in the police at the PIU, as well as the, the dates. Because we are constrained for time, please um, just omit the details um, of what exactly you were actually doing um, during those positions. Just kindly take us um, through your ranks. Thank you. After I left the training school, I was a constable. In 2005, we were promoted to the first class. I was with that rank until 2010 when I was promoted to the rank of a corporal. And um, during this time, what are the various um, stations that um, you, you were attached to? 
ko wuce ko no pi ayu la karola itarta dinkira juma nyollu leto do ko wala na onna 17 kova 2005 i covered the under 17 in 2005 um, just so that i can clarify the different um piu stations the best station where you were posted to ah the best station olu menuto 2005 nga fatoto ke in 2005 i was in fatoto 2007 Benu eh, Lamenkoto. In 2007, I was in Lamenkoto. 2008, me Mansa Congo. In 2008, I was in Mansa Congo. 2009, in Murundi and Kaniving. In 2009, I was returned back to Kaniving. In 2009, nga duties ke Baobab Hotel. In that same 2009, I did duties at the Baobab Hotel. I kominika Gambia sunguri dingol sponsor i dingol ole na tunu njia in Sambaje duties la for three weeks. At that time, there were some sponsors who were uh, helping young Gambian girls, uh, so they asked me to go there and provide uh, security for them. After I left that place, I was taken to the Brikama PIU. And that was my last posting before I was moved to the State House. Before we get to the State House, can you just give us briefly what kind of duties you were actually doing? Um, whilst you were stationed at these different positions that you mentioned. Ako Janimbe State House La Karomala. It's a funying Ibo Station Lumenuto or Dinkral to Ela Doku Munimunetin Watembo. Come in Fatoto. For instance, in Fatoto, Gata border duties Lale. I used to embark on border duties. Gata Lumo coverage Lale. We cover the Lumos as well. Gata patrol Lale. We go on patrols. Gata checkpoint Lale. And we also mount checkpoints. Ngata residential guard for none. We also conducted residential guards. Like Gambisara. Like Gambisara. Ngata Laji Bakari ya Pabi ya. To go up to uh, Laji Bakari. Ngata Laji Numuyel for nang Chief Hajikule ya. We are also at Numuyel at Chief Hajikule's place. Ngata Basse for nang ke governor ya. We also uh, mount Basse at the governor's residence. Uh, Brikama for nang ngata border to Dasila me Dimbaya aning. Maninaba. Brikama, we go to the borders of Daslamin, Dimbaya. Ka checkpoint all for Nanke. We also mount checkpoints. At our patrol. We also went on patrols. And in station duties for Nanke. And we also did station duties. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you undergo any um, training as um, a member of the PIU? I go for a tata Londi Karamalale, Bridunta PIU. Yes, I have some trainings here. A VIP protection in Egypt. I did some VIP protection with Egyptians. A VIP with American Embassy on the United States Secret Service. I did VIP under the U.S. Embassy, the United States, under the United States Secret Service. I anti-terrorism with the Algerian. I also had anti-terrorism training with Algerians. A Royal Gibraltar, joined Royal, Royal Gibraltar with Americans at the Yundum Barracks. I also had training with the Royal Gibraltar and the Americans at the Yundum Barracks. And what were you being trained um, in these uh, various trainings that you attended? Egyptian law course ni wamu VIP protection only. Ivela VIP sambala nyameng kabundi ala suokono. The Egyptian course was on VIP, how to uh, bring your VIP from their residence and take them to the venues that they are supposed to go to. How to help them get onto the vehicles and how to, uh, to guard them when they alight. Algerian uh, anti-terrorism. With the Algerians, which was on anti-terrorism. That one involves uh, looking around for people who are bent on uh, causing mayhem. In left like a VIP Torah. Those that may want to uh, bring difficulties or hardship on VIPs. And in left like a tinyar fengonati mol jamato. And those that want to bring materials that can destroy uh, a lot of people. Royal Gibraltar, I mean, join Royal, Royal Gibraltar. With the joint Royal Gibraltar, I mean, in police, okay. uh, it was a combined uh, between, between the army and the police. 
on okay go pro mission ole kama pro how to go on a mission ibita nya me mission ola we did that in preparation in of how to go on a mission um essentially you were doing bodyguard services for most of the time um is that why you were trained um in that area ako ila do ko ni across jama ko no e ke binin alifalu kantar lalti ko fole ya kendi yo karam fasongo luke bang ade yes you mentioned that um, after your work with the PIU, you were transferred to the army. Can you tell us how this happened? Ako e nyum foko biri bota PIU inate sound kata sojar bundala wo kata nyadile. Menon Dimbaya guard post oto. I was the I was at the Dimbaya guard post. Yang call na OC. I got a call from my OC. Ni mu Babu Chamti. Who was Babu Cham? He was our OC at the time in Brikamo. He called me and said to me, Lamin. He told me you need VIP protection. Okay, call you and cook anything. Those of you that had a VIP training, you've been instructed to report to anything. I'll be at the state house. All of you are to be moved to the state house. Not and don't go near my old commander or not anything. So I came to answer to that call and I went to anything. We were many, we were over 40, those of us that had a VIP training. We were there for a week or more. We were together there. So one day, I was called, and they called Sambu, and they called Buso. I was called Sambu, and they called Buso. I was called Sambu, and said that uh, now the three of us are the ones that are going to move on to the state house. May I interrupt, uh, Mr. Baji? You uh, said you were called to Carnifing. Where in Carnifing were you called to? I was PIU, PIU headquarters. Carnifing at the PIU headquarters. You also mentioned um, Buso and Sambu. Can you give us their full names and their ranks and how you got to know them? Akoye buso ni nsambula kumofo. Akoye isi ito mumeo ni kontongo lufo ani rank fasongo membe bulu ani ye long nyadile. Buso wate ito mumu mamodu. Mamodu buso. Mamodu ai buso. Buso's name is Mamodu ai buso. Ate ngatara pia yule. I found him at the pia yu. Ngatara jela bedoko le je ngalo njele fanando wata be sabatari nje fanando. I found him working there and that was where I got to know him because he was also resident there. Lamin Sambu. Lamin Sambu. Ate na train ta nyola le. I trained alongside Lamin Sambu. Ate muna intake maid le di. He was my intake maid. And what are their ranks? Well, ila ranks mumu le di. Buso mu inspector le di. Buso was an inspector. Sambu mung sajin o wato. Sambu was a sergeant at the time. And at that point, what rank were you? Ako tembo ite be rank kujima leto nung. Ite be first class. At that time, I was a first class. So you were the most junior in rank in the group. Amunta ite le la rank doyata ulube wamo sabo be ye karakafo nyingono. Ade. Yes. Okay. Please continue with um, your testimony. Ako wato. Where you stop? Ite nteng ite nteng ite nteng ite nteng ite nteng ite nteng from there, we were boarded, we boarded the vehicle. GPF2 PIU. Which was GPF2 PIU. In Samba headquarters. They took us to the headquarters. From there, we were taken to the interior office, to the office of Usman Sonko. The interior, We met the interior. The office, Inside his office. Another for Molly, I told most of all my transfer to the state house. He then said to us, uh, we are going to transfer the three of you to the state house. Mr. Na Baji, sorry, before we move further, can you just tell us who Usman Sonko was? Ako janim bitala nyato, afon yeng jumalom wo Usman Sonko. Telling interior minister ti wo watu. He was the in interior minister at the time. Okay, thank you. Please continue. Ako yeten ten. Another Molly diamundi je. He talked to us. Ndefa wo nata wo si okay wo lungo. I appealed. I appealed to him that day. Guy, I'm going to promote. 
I said to him the army does not promote anyone. Bele ben sambala nu amankin sawoti kata army nga police lafita wala wala nan join the police. And here you are you are taking me to the army and it is the police I liked that was. Ata fonye ko fereti je bare bitala la bare mba katala bi mbe promote la le. He said to me there is no way out you have to move on but I am going to promote you today. Ako nye mbe personal call la le ye koplo dile la. He said to me, "I was. I'm going to make a personal call so that you'll be promoted to the rank of a corporal." And they jailed it. And so I kept quiet. In Atambundi, they in Samba headquarters. So they took me away from that place to the headquarters. That a personal. I went to the personal. In a rank or register. And they registered my rank. In a they couple of dinner. And then I was promoted as a corporal. Olung, Olung killing in Atambul Samba State House. On that same day, we were moved to the State House. Abrem for that State House. When we got to the state house, na the CEO met me mo lamin sanedi. We met the CEO who was lamin sane. Another more brief. He briefed us that we are welcome. That we are welcomed. Uh, do go le abe mo killing already. He said his work is the same work. Ko e nadi jane. He said uh, the, you, you are brought here. Ah, uh, service o e fongo je da oda i salon ko jele yati. And as for the service, wherever you find yourself, just take that place to be your home. Nata CJ Wolenyama. So we stayed there like that. Mr. Baji, can you tell us what unit of the army you were um, transferred to? Akwe afunyeng bring sai ye saundi sojar bunda la ye samba sojar la bunda jumaleto. State house. State house. And um, which unit were you part of in State House? What uh, unit of the army? Initially, when I got there, I bring for the weapon in Mol Samba weapon orientation on T91. When we arrived, we were taken on weapon orientation T91. At the time, we were familiar with the AK-47. Okay, that for me, that for local nani. That went on for almost four months, four weeks. Uh, course not a na training mumbang course not a na. But our training did not elapse. But uh, another course came along. Came on. Came on. Nada sambu samba ni buso. And so sambu and buso we are taking for this course. The man na mabe o course la. I did not attend that course. In atante ata delta platoon. But I was attached to the delta platoon. I was there and I conducted duties in that platoon at oh, mile two. What time or more than nekabo state house? At that time, ten people usually leave the state house. Popolo kabo state house le. Couples leave the state house. And in private kononto. And nine privates. Arrange the platoon or nati. The RNG brings a platoon. It will like a left hand or nati and in sergeant. And they normally will provide the lieutenant and the sergeant. Ndela mota ngose kafuika ndenga na kopul palaso ta. So our the tenth person, I will tenth as the tenth person, I will join them and take my corporal position. My duties care for one week, not a GJ. I conducted duties there for one week and then I. I not a board or murunda. I left state house. I'll return back to the state house. Yembula ndata ofola tilifula. I was allowed to go on off for two days. Can I just um, interrupt you there, um, Mr. Baji? Um, can we just go back? As part of the Delta pl platoon that you mentioned, were you under the State Guard unit or any other unit of the Gambia Armed Forces? Delta Bunda Ako wo Delta Bunda abe Bunda juma le fong koto lao soja kafoni ngono. Ayalong soja kunda ye platoon le soto mi ala ika tala le ike tola like alpha. You know, in the military there are different platoons which are given various names like alpha. State house jenga bravo soto. But in the state house we had bravo. A chali company soto. We also had chali company. Mr. Witness, perhaps you did not hear my question very carefully. I'm asking whether you were part of the state guards. Ako fo watembo wo platinum e kafu nyo full baby state guards le kono bangu tumo. Ah, wul baby state house leto. Yes, all of them were part of the state guards. And who was your um commanding officer at the state state guard? Ako tumo state guards. Jumale mui la commanding officer. The late Lamin Sane. 
What was his position at that point? commander state house. He was a commander in charge of the state house. And do you know his rank? No. Do you remember who the CDS was, the chief of defense staff at that time? Chief of defense staff was the CDS. And I'm more remember. No, I cannot remember. And how long did you remain with the state guard? Abrin 2010 for 2016. I was there from 2010 to 2016. And um, during this period, can you tell us how you moved um, in, into different units um, whilst you were at the State Guard? I was at State Guard in the moment. I was at the State Guard in the moment. I was at the State Guard in the moment. I was at the State Guard in the moment. I was at the State Guard in the moment. I Delta Platoon. I started with the Delta Platoon. The Delta and duties get lawful at mile two and in QRF State House. I was I conducted duties in mile two and QRF at the State House. But in Atam Bondije, Serimodu in Bondija in Samba RP Dex. And Serimodu removed me from there and took me to the RP Desk. The RP Dex curriculum fuller Saba Unatake Mati. 2011. I was there for about three months, and it was in March 2011. Then I was uh, handpicked uh, from amongst the lot uh, for a training in Fajara. Mimo military police training. Which was military police training. Nada taje anata ke confinement oti curriculum. We went there, and it was a confinement training for a month. Thirty first March, nata pass out. We passed out on the 31st of March. Murunta State House. I returned back to the State House. April around 13 March. Around the 13th of April. In a fano di mola kake military police. So they gave us our uniforms to become uh, military police. Mr. Baji, um, are you telling us that um, during this time, what uniform were you were you actually wearing? Ako Mr. Baji, we wish you be kono jani ni leo uniform kuto dila. Eka uniform jima le dunu. Kaso jari uniform le dun. I used to dress in military uniforms. And before you were dressed as a military, um, in military uniform, were you dressed um in police uniform when you first went to State House as a State Guard? Ako bili tata State House follow follow ke kake State kadung State Guards. For eka ofanang eka uniform jima le dun. Nta kuto para uniform le bimbulu. Initially, I was dressed in my paramilitary military, uh, paramilitary uniform. Ni wale bije fo kabringa orientation o bang inata uniform odi na mimi soldier uniform odi. I had those uniforms on until the orientation was completed. Then wale, I was issued with military uniforms. Ni wale doko ke Delta, umbota so jenta ta RP, umbota jenta ta MP inata na fu wale ringo odi na. I was there from Delta, then I went on to the RP, then I went on to the uh, MP unit where I was issued with my red beret. So you were an employee of the military, of the Gambian National Army from that point? Yes. Do you know why you were targeted to um, join the military police? Ako foya lo ne dalili juma le ya kendi ye nya lo ite kanke tumbong ke dundi military police. Namiroto alo uniformo ninga odumbu kacha ninga mukatara dekorele anyama. In my own thinking, when I am putting on my uniform, I don't uh, play around. I make sure that I am neatly dressed. Because on the day that Sir uh, Modu saw me and the day that he was moving me to the RP, he saw me and he said to me honestly, when it comes to dressing, uh, there, there is no one comparable to you. He said to me, I would love to move you to the RP. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to MP, man, Akil Fulas, or Nalunakom, better. 
which was why when the MP selection, selection came, I did not have any doubt. I knew that I was going to be uh, selected. Can you just tell us what RP means? Um, you've repeated it um, a couple of times. What does it mean? RP Regimental police. And you were with the regimental police before you went into the military police, is that correct? regimental police police military police. Ah. Yes. Can you tell us what duties you were doing as a regimental police um, and what duties you were doing as a military police? regimental police military police a regimental police, it will do go moment, it will summon The work of the regimental police is that each morning, kana bundal muta ang kana moljibe kana watu mina. We secure our uh, entry points and observe uh, how our soldiers are entering into the barracks. Ika dress nyamen. Uh, they are dress uh, mood. Itaranya. Uh, they are composure. Aning ning idamal jotita ila disciplino Kenya. And also to maintain discipline if there is any misunderstanding amongst the men. Military police. Uh, for the military police. Our work is wide. Uh, on my own, I can say that in fact it's, it's general police work. Statement. You take statements. Arresting. You effect arrest. Uh, and in family, more than family team. You also intervene between uh, the family, family issues. And would you say that it was because of your background in the police force that that is why you were actually put in these different units where uh, you needed to have some sort of um, police experience uh, and knowledge? Uh, police. Because VIP Jamaleke, Yes, because I underwent uh, several VIP training courses. And do you also know why you were removed from the police and brought into the army? Were you briefed about that at all? I was not briefed on that. But do you know why you were moved? I don't know why you were moved. In my own thinking, because I did uh, many VIP training courses, and also I am well versed in that area, and I am versatile. Okay, very well. Um, you went into the regimental police and then later into the military police. Uh, did you remain with the military police or did you move on to some other units of the army? The military police for 2011. I was at the military police until 2011. Sorry, 2012. Sorry, it was in 2012. And one day, uh, I was removed. Sambu yang kumani lamin sambu. Lamin sambu called me. Uh, what time was staff sergeant? Ole. At that time, he was a staff sergeant. Denga sergeant also. At that time, I was a sergeant. 2012 nyingko In 2012. Nadang kumani ngatara loring anim buso beloring. He called me, so I went and found him standing with buso. Konya ko ngandangko General Baje. He said to me, "Let's answer to General Baje." Before, before you move on, just kindly rem remind us who um, buso and Sambo were. Ako jani betende na hakilo bulandi juma lom buso ni Sambo. Buso wale mamodu ay buso di. Buso is mamodu ay buso ni lamin Sambo. And Lamin Sambo. You mean about Anyola police? These were the two individuals that we moved out from the police. Very well. And at that point, who was the um, who was the the CEO of the State Guard? I call Tembo Jumalum State Guard Sla Nyaton Koti. In 2012, Ngamira Siri Modulende. 
In 2012, I think Manino. it was Serimudu, if I did not forget. Do you know his full name? Kofayato from Mumu Belo Nebang. Serim Mumu Sering Momodun Jai. And do you remember what rank he was? Akofoy Hakilosa Mutale Makamu Mbabulu Tumo. And Hala rank. No. But I'm a medium good old soldier or Kona Mela rank all day for him. At that time, I was uh, getting to the soldiers newly, so I could not tell what the ranks were. That's fine, Mr. Baji. What about the military police? Who was heading the military police at that time? Ako Manke Kasiti, Baribitumotembo, military police La Bunda, Jumalamu La Nyaton Koti. Staff Sergeant S.T. Job. Staff Sergeant S.T. Job. So the three of you, um, yourself, um, Buso and Sambu, were briefed to go and um, answer to General Sol Baji. And who was he at that time? Akwatel mo sabo ite lamin sambu aning momodu buso ikali ite dangkuali ita kafu ni sojaru sol bajila akuto mo sol baji mu jumali ti. Otimbo sol baji le ang commander RNG ti. At that time, sol baji was the commander of the RNG, Republican National Guard. Republican National Guards. Please continue and tell us what happened when you um, when he asked that you report to him. When there and found him inside his office, he called Buso and said to Buso, You will answer to Banua Baji. We will remove you where you currently are and transfer you to the patrol team. intelligent officer. You will go there and become their intelligent officers. He said to us, you may go, uh, Noah will call you. I have forwarded your numbers to him. So we left there because he had access to go home, and so we left, we went home. So I was home for almost two to three weeks. And then I got a call from Noah Baji. That we should uh, meet and uh, have a discussion that they were organizing a barbecue, and they wanted all of us to, to meet. Ulungo Narata Kololi Tavan. So that day we went to Kololi Tavan. Itaraje. And we met them there. Abichu be killing. Barbecue was on. Narata Diamon Dolmo Savoye. And then he spoke to the three of us. Ponyako Albem Fele. He said to us, You are with us. Albekela in officiality. We are going to be intelligence officers. Ninga Hajo Sotominion de Kiskisla. If we have any mission that needed investigations, Adunal Bulu. We will uh, leave that in your, on your control. But what I want you to know is that you are amongst us. Do not hide, keep any secrets from us. And so Buso said to him, Okay, sir. He said to us, there are some Gamsel numbers, numbers there. We are going to try and issue all with uh, numbers. So that uh, any time you need any one of us, you could make that call. You, sorry, Mr. Baji, sorry to interrupt you. You mentioned that um, you were intelligence officers, the three of you from the police force. Um, can you tell us what that entailed, being an intelligence officer? Yes, we were just told that we were going to be their intelligence officers. But when we got into the team, I can only remember one time that Momodo Buso called me. 
He said to me, come and meet me at the PIU. These people said that uh, there is a mission that they want to give to us to... Uh, Before we proceed um, to the mission, Mr. Baji, can you just kindly tell us um, whether you had any training as a as an intelligence officer. I have never had that training. And when you met at the um, Kololi Tavern, can you tell us what that place was, that location that um, you met Nuha Baji? Where was that? Or what was it called? Hello, I am not conversant with that area, but I only know it uh, by the Kololi Tavern. Did you meet other members of the patrol team on that day? Ako fo, wo patrol team wo kafo mo kotengulu alni be nyoje wolunne ba. Mo jamale taraje wolungo. We found many people that day. But uh, we were informed that others we are not in. Because some of, some of their members were in Kanilai. And others were in their respective homes. Can you tell us who you met um, there on that day? I found I found Noabaji there. Major Lem. Was a major. Please give us their full names and their ranks. What rank was Noabaji? Major. And was he leading your group? General Baji Temo. Banua, as we call uh, Nua Baji, I found him like that. And uh, he was the one, the liaison between the team and General Baj, Sol Baji. Was he the most senior member of the team? Ako fatele la makamo siata kafo mo beti, timo mo beti bang, wala maala rank. Ani nata timo jibe molbi jele minla makamo siata di. If we look at the team, there were some individuals who had uh, higher ranks than he had. But when it came to the junior rank, uh, he was in charge of them. Yeah, please continue and tell us the other members of the teams, their full names and their ranks. Lieutenant Michael Jata Taraje. I found Lieutenant Michael Jata. Lieutenant Michael Korea Taraje. I also found Lieutenant Michael Korea. Osilonga Umar Oya Jalo Taraje. I also found Omar Oya Jalo. Uh, I found Buso there. Lamin Sambu. Lamin Sambu. Amadu Baji Taraje. I also found Amadu Baji, who is chairman. I found Seku Jaju there. Pasane uh, Taraje. I also found Pasane there. Mosia Tale Ulum, Mosia Battle. There were many people, many people that day. Mosia Battle. Many people. I cannot call all their names. The civilian will be there, Bukalo Mimindino. But I am not Mandali Bella. They were also civilians. You would not be able to tell who was. Mansunia Valley for Nambiele. Mansunia Valley was also there. Manga was also there. Can you please give us their full names and their ranks? What rank was Fansunyabali? At that time, Fansunyabali was a double O2. Pasane? Pasane, I think he must have been an O2 or O1. Seku Baji? Seku Jaju. At that time, he was a corporal. Amadu Baji? Amadu Baji was a sergeant at the time. Lamin Sambu? Lamin Sambu was a staff sergeant at the time. And Aibuso? 
So I'm going to go to the time. So I'm going to go to the time. Omar Jalo. Omar Jalo was a sergeant at the time. Omar Jalo was a sergeant at the time. Was he known by any other name? Oh, yeah. And uh, Michael Correa? Michael Correa was a lieutenant. Okay. Michael Jata? Michael Jata. Lieutenant. And were these people all part of the patrol team? Which you were a member of? Ah. Yes. What about the others that you mentioned who weren't present? Can you remember them? Inside the team? Sang Mendi Bijele. Sang Mendi was there. In the team Okono. Those that are in the team. Yeah, you mentioned that there were certain people that were um, in Kololi on that day and some were not present. You have mentioned those who were present. Can you please mention those who weren't present as far as you recall? Uh, I believe Jalino. Yes, I believe Jalo. Jalino, he did not come that day. I did not uh, see him. Sankoria Fanang Manna. Sorry, Sam Mendi. Some men also did not go turn up. Uh, and in Tamba. And Tamba. Please Tol mention the full name. Akoisi Tolufo. Major Landin Tamba. Major Landin Tamba. Mr. Baji, can you just assume a more comfortable position? Um, you can draw the mic closer to you, Akoye and then please speak loudly so Akoye we can hear you. Akoye si ye 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 tembe kuke damen si sono ya ibulu ya microphone o katandi le sara si dia mu te ma 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 na te men kante batandi. As far as you know, were these the members of the patrol team? Akoye te la londo to nil dronem patrol team kafo mo lukti bang. Aninga mo do long like solo bojang fananda bijele. No, I know other individuals like Solo Bojang also. Or Akoli Vananda Bijele. Or Akoli also was a member. Please give us their ranks. Solo Nimbora Mo la rank along or time. Solo, I cannot. I did not know the ranks of Solo and Bora at that time. But of an amelong ye fonyele. At that time also, I did not know them. I was just giving their names. Who else do you remember? Akoli Hakilo Bulaji Jumale la Koteke. General Baji. General Baji. Yes, you've already mentioned Sana General Baji. Salam oh, okay. Was um, Ali Ujang part of your group? Ali Ujang from Nambala. Ali Ujang BJ. Yes. Do you remember what rank? Ako for his Hakilo Sabula rank in Malabala. He's an O2 during that time. O2. At the time, he was an O2. Odu Jaju from Nambije. Odu Jaju was also there. Captain Jaju. Captain Jaju. Alias Rambo. Alias Rambo. Do you know who this um, group was answerable to? The patrol team. Akofoya lo ne wakafu molu kafu kafu me patrol team ike danku juma alela. Ike danku General Baji la. We were answerable to General Baji. And um, do you know who General Baji, Baji was actually getting his orders from? Well, it will be difficult to say, but according to his own statements, it uh, appears that he got his authority from Yaya Jame. Can you please clarify that statement? Um, according to which statements? General Baji, Because General Baji, I only met him once. Where he addressed us. 
Bo ateka tama kangu mina wale mansara kangu danda lafta mobe eta mwola. That he operates under the directives of the president and he wants everyone to operate under the same directive. So wola na ngafu onyama. That is why I said, I said it the way I said it. So you are confirming that um, the orders that General Baji got, which he gave instructions to you, were from the president, the ex-president Yaya Jame? General Sol Baji kawo kangulu menu diatella te fanang kawo kangulu soto president koto le bulu yaya jami. I all have That was what he said. And um, do you know if the patrol team had any other names that it was associated with? Ako fo e todo lulone eka la patrol teamo komandi to kote ngulu menu la patrol team kola. Kamu ele dolka fo saika. I hear some people call it saika. Dolkafonya omu kos ufana ya kile fu kos lemba. I I hear I don't know if they did that as a cause. And in jungle. And jungle. Ufana ngamre ya kos leke. I think they also did a cause on that. Mahakala muda mama biara. I did not know about it. I did not also participate in that. Dokabina na tanga njin tol tarajele. But when I came in, I found these names in there. So the patrol team was otherwise known as jungler or cycler. Have you heard of the word um, or phrase black black? Ako tonya jungler kata cycler o tolu bije bari fo e tolu fana muile je kafu e nyamengo black black. Ade? Yes. Black scorpions. Black scorpions fo fana to yo fana muile bang. No, ngamwe black black. No. Cycler jungler. No, I heard black black cycler and jungler. And you were part of this team that was called um, the Junglers. Is that correct? Ita fana mbe njenga kafole kono e kafu many Junglers. Ah, nsafu no ha. Yes, I can say yes. Nsafu no hani. I can also say no. You go kabiri bende na atla njini team oro. Because when I was brought into the team, me and the brief kanana njia kwenye vita la patrol team le. The one that briefed me on my move into the team said to me that you are going to be. Jani mbe na patrol team kani njini tol mo elabar kabiri nda la patrol team. He said to me, you Please take it slowly, Mr. Witness. The interpreters are interpreting okay. your testimony in the local language. So just take it slowly. Okay. Yes, I can say that I'm going to be a member of the bank. I'm going to be a member of the bank. I'm going to be a member of the bank. I'm going to be a member of the bank. I'm going to be a member of the bank. When I came to the team, I found these names there. Are ninko manke saika ti wala manke jungler di. But if I say that I am not a saika or a jungler, I say mul mira. That may bring confusion in the minds of people. Bonte la miro to kabrinte na na ngin tol mo inga mira ko ngin tol mo momo na la guru bolet. Because when I came to the team initially and heard these names, I thought that these were individual names of the teams within the group. Because nanga mul ngin inka le mune jungler di. Because I, I inquired to find out what, what jungler was. Nyabale nene kwenye ko ye kos leke. And Nyabale said to me that they did a kos. And kos ni ya tola wola. And that the kos was named jungler. Nata nga saika fana nyini nga. I also inquired about saika. Ko fana kos lem ye minke. And he said to me that was also another kos which they did. Mr. Baji, it is correct that um, you already said that you were a member of the patrol team. You agree? And um, you said patrol team, jungler, black, black, all means the same thing. So I was just asking whether or not you were a member of the junglers. You were part of that group. Ante jungula kafu kuna ba jungula munti reni ni dani mo tireni nge ima munti reni to ulono la. I am not in the junglers because to be a jungler you must have gone through that training which I did not participate in. Dela sojari ya be kuna ngati tireni minge. In all my military career, the trainings that I did. Military police lam. Was military police? Ah, VIP course with Crossag International. VIP course with Crossag International. I think these, these are my courses, the courses that I did. Okay, Mr. Baji, um, 
you're saying that the patrol team is different from the junglers. Is that what you're saying now? Akosa ibe njia nifu kanga kwa patrol team wengine jungla solo mantera kafukileng fuwa lemba. Ndela longoto. In my own understanding. Because ni kwa njia jungla man jungla karangoke. Because if you said to me jungler and I did not have any jungler training. Ni kwa njia saika man saika karangoke. If you said to me saika also, I did not have saika training. Nkani yenu muile anuntele ano la ngoto malom mulem. I just hear these names, so I cannot make out in my mind what they were. Mr. Baji, I'm just merely seeking a yes or no answer. Akabe ni nini karo meno mulem ha wala hani pro utosi kwa ma lafuto drone lona. Honey. No. Can you tell us um, what your duties were as a member of the patrol team? patrol team control intelligence officer. Just as I told you earlier on, they said that we were intelligence officers. The first tax so the first tax that they told us about. Buso yeng kumani mina PIU headquarters Kanefinge. The one that Buso called me to the PIU headquarters in Kanefing. Siraje lefo ularo around four. We were there until in the evening around about four. Buso nata fanya ko say gal ko misono inyenta mindi la ne mana fanya ite se say anything be call la. He said to me, you may go home now. They they have said that the mission which they had wanted to give us has been uh, cancelled, so if there is a need for you, I will call you. What I want to know is that um, when you became a member of the patrol team, were you briefed about your duties, what it was that you were supposed to be doing as a member of the patrol team? What was your, what was your work, essentially, with the patrol team? patrol team. the patrol team Ika muni mune ke watumo watu me itena ata kadung kafonyi kono kafu patrol team ila duko form 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 mule. Ah watumo nta phone ola mune la duko ti. At that time I could not say what was their function. Atumbe dun kudola anu yente yamare mina wale ngo imbeke la intelligence officer ti. Because I was just getting there newly, but the instructions that I was given was that I was going to be made an intelligence officer. It is also correct that um, you became a member of the patrol team in 2012. Yes. Before you became a member of the patrol team, did you hear about the patrol team? Patrol team patrol team I used to hear about them. And did you hear about the junglers? Akofaye jungla solo fana luki baro muile numbang. Kee kibaro muile. Hear news about them? Can you tell us what you heard about them or what you knew about them? Akofo isafo no nyene ye mune long ila kuoto wala ye mune mui ila kuoto. Anga kumajama le mui utaimo. I hear many things at the time. Arun nene menu mbirikama. Because I was once in Brikama. Kama pia yu mialongo. Jungle ni na mojo teta silokang. At the Brikama PIU, at a time when an, a jungler had a problem with a member of the PIU. Mimu sana manjandi. Who was sana manjang? Nata kuma jamaa mwe wako no? I came to hear so many things. Kondolfo uh, mwato nata silandasu to checkpoint to nibe tambola. At that time we were even scared at the checkpoint when, whenever they came. Goni entara checkpoint to rebuka na rules all noma. Because each time they find out at our checkpoints, they do not observe any rules or decorum. Abang oninge je fang kan na na police stopo ni mbundi le puri tambi tharia ke kan na any diamo soto ni tiemo. So in the end, when we saw them coming from a distance, we hurriedly take off our police materials from the highway, like the police stop sign, and clear the way for them. Kamu i kamu fake. I hear that they did killings. They did torture. At that time, I could not uh, attest to that. I could not also verify that information, but I have been hearing it. Can you tell us um, 
according to what you heard, um, who they were getting these orders from to kill and torture and do all of the all of the things they were doing. No time on to Lonola. At the time, I could not uh, know who. The incident that you mentioned um, whilst you were at the PIU, can you tell us when that was? What year was it? I was at the PIU. I was at the PIU. I was at the PIU. I was at the Kindly just repeat your question. Sorry, I was a bit distracted. Akeda 2009. It was in 2009. And um, this was about three years before you actually became part of the patrol team. Ako wato wale msanji saba jani bete dundi la patrol team moko. Ade. Yes. You also mentioned um, this incident with Sana Manjang. Can you just kindly describe um, what happened? Ako yeye ni kumo mfuteng alini sana manjano dunyolo. Afu ni yangu mune fanga fanga keta. Anta phone ni mune fanga bia keta because amante fanga tara loring silokang. I cannot say exactly what transpired because uh, the incident did not find me. Abria sata ni yangu iko anata le ya Londi. But by the explanation that I was given, they said that he came and he was asked to stop. So me alone the amalong. So the guy that uh, stopped him did not know him. And the guy he, uh, asked for his uh, documents. He said to the guy uh, 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 to alight from the vehicle. So as he came out of the vehicle, he slapped the, the police officer. He said after Sanamanjang slapped the police officer, nothing came out of it. So you're saying that it was he was above the law. Wolem nyinti ke mam fotang wolem nyinti ko atabe luwai santole. Asiata o relevant. Is even more than that. What was the gender of the police officer that he slapped? I police o men tulo bung mum mole kelom fo musulo. Musole. The lady. And um do you recall her name? Ako fo hakilo sibula amari tola le bang. No hakilo bota tola le bare sa ko nyini ngano ko tende. No, I cannot remember her name, but I can inquire. Okay. But you're saying that nothing came out of that incident. Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Except the pain that the lady went away with. Do you know whether or not it was reported? Or she made a complaint about it? We were angry, but we mourned the issue for, for a while, but uh, nothing came about it. Because those that, those that we are in position of doing something, ensuring that something happened, we are themselves scared. If in amongst us, we used to, to advise one another and say mm. to one another, our, our friends, our guys are coming, please remove the boats from the highway. So they were given free passage and nobody would check their vehicles. Only, it will, it will be only somebody who wants to sell his life who will stop them to ask them. Sorry, please repeat, um, Mr. Interpreter. I didn't get that. He said that somebody who is selling his life will be the only person to stop these people or to ask them. Okay. So which means you were in fear for your life? Yes. Apart from Sana Manjang, did you know any other members of the junglers at this point in 2009 and thereafter? In 2009, Suleiman Sambu. Suleiman Sambu. I remember in Farabasutu. 
We had a push and pull with us there. Because someone tipped us uh, about him. Uh, about him. And gave us the color of his vehicle. And gave us the color of his vehicle. The informant said that he had seen him somewhere and suspects that he was uh, carrying cannabis. Checkpoint so we mounted our checkpoint. But when he found us, found us there, we came to know that in fact this was the guy. But we were not uh, brave enough to confront him. And he eventually became our friend. And that was the day I got to know him. So we left him to go, and the little bit that he gave us, we took it and we sorted our problems out. That was the day I got to know him. Please repeat, Mr. Interpreter. Um, unfortunately, we did not hear what you said. Um, that, okay, he said that the day. Uh, uh, Suleiman Sambu met them at that because he, they were tipped that Suleiman Sambu has gone to pick up a, a, a load of cannabis and they, they decided to go and put a checkpoint in front of him on the road. But when the guy came and found them there, they realized that this man is one of the junglers. Then they discussed with him and later on they became friends with him. And in fact, he gave them something uh, that they shared among themselves so they decided to go and, you know, spend that uh, uh, money, the, the, the little thing he gave them, and leave him to go because of they were scared of these people. And what was it that he gave you? He gave us little money. We also took that money and uh, shared it amongst ourselves. So essentially he bribed you? I bribed us, but we, we could not also uh, carry out our functions as expected. Because if, if we were beaten there, nobody will stand and uh, defend us. We have seen several examples from different places, which is why we are always careful. Because for Sambu, each time we see him, we know that he is with cannabis. But you will not be confident enough or brave enough to confront him. So, Mr. Baji, you were well acquainted with the junglers even before you joined the patrol team in 2012. Is that correct? Mr. Baji, I am not a jungler. I am not a jungler. Uh, so I do not know them, but I have seen the actions of two to three individuals from the team. And people also came to tell me that these were the, the people, and I, got also to, I also got to know that uh, they were the junglers. Yes, and um, what I meant was that you knew of the junglers and you had had personal experience dealing with them as well. Yes. Yes. And I would just like to take you back um, to when you met um, the rest of the patrol team in Kololi. You mentioned um, Sanamanjang, um, and you also mentioned um, Suleiman Sambu as being part of the patrol team. Is yes, that correct? Yes, Suleiman Sambu fana na kumo fuje kabe patrol team onyin kono le four muto nyali. Ah, Suleiman Sambu was a patrol team. Yes, Suleiman Sambu was a member of the patrol team. You also mentioned Sanamanjang. Is that correct? Ako e Sanamanjang mem foto nyat abijele bang. Ha. Yes. So at that point, when you met them um, as part of the patrol team, you knew that you were meeting a group of junglers in Kololi. Yes. And not only did you know that these were the junglers, but you knew their modus operandi. You knew that these were a bunch of killers, torturers, um, 
and criminals, basically. You've given examples of how they broke the law by trafficking cannabis and how you actually helped them to do so as well. Okay, bon. Yes. So therefore there was no doubt in your mind at that point when you joined the patrol team what you were getting yourself into. Ako woto mo many it am many na kile hakil fuloti biri ba dunna patrol team o kono inyan ta sobila ko woto nte ba dunna nyilu menu kanteng nyilu muni mo fasongo leti fa ate wanyaba. Bole nyama. That's the way it is. Mr. Baji, you mentioned that um, after you were part of the patrol team, there was a particular assignment that you were supposed to be part of, but it was aborted. Can you tell us what assignment it was and when that was? Ako bringi dunte kono alla doku follow me ya kibaro diyalla ko alinyanta tala doku alla. Bari doku nyinna tabai amannake. Fosila ngi isi fenfo no nyene mungu itela miro to mungu kufoson ne mwote alinyanta tala menkela nungu. Ah, busole, mamadu, ay busole so fono bagi biko atele nito lfono na bosti. Mamadu, ay busole will be the better person to speak on that because he was our boss. But before I went home, na miro to kuna miro to nga miro ko jemo lem. But I, in my own thinking, I thought that was probably a game. Because niko moe ko mbe doko dile la. Because if you say to someone, I'm, Alben Glato. I'm going to send you on a mission, converge at a particular place. You should be able to tell them why they are meeting there and where they will be going to. But I think that was a game they were playing and they did not want to tell us what it was. Can you tell us on that day who you met and can you tell us what date this was? Ako foi sa lungo fono nyeng aning inin jumanyo le benta je o lungo la. Ah, nta lungo lona directly bare benta pia yule nta ni ngabuso taraje leto. Alas sam samoni mbuso bebe steering kampole kona je. I cannot recall the day exactly, but I went there and I found Sambo and Buso. The two of them are resident at the PIA headquarters. Was this the part of the patrol team? Because the people you mentioned um, are those people that you came with from the police force. That was not the whole patrol team. But I went together with Sambo and Buso. And when, and when they are giving me uh, any uh, instructions, busole sambu It comes from buso, goes to sambu, and then to me. me alongo inanende kumani ndama sambu kalamuta buso ma kalamuta. Itole kande call. Inene mande call directly. I have never been called directly. Whatever comes to me has to pass through sambu and buso. So. And would you say that Buso was your superior um, officer, your senior officer? Akoto ebenye ne fokanko Buso le mu alla nyato ngote. Ha. Yes. Was he head of the intelligence unit um, that you were part of within the patrol team? Ako patrol team o nyin kono yo intelligence kafo me na ko mo fale fo amunda telo nyato ngote ba. Ila intelligence ye mimfo mo le Buso le mu na nyato ngote. Yes, Buso was our team leader. Can you tell us um, what, if any, operations you actually took part as part of the patrol team? Ako fuisa fono ni natra inenema beta la dukuto watu meng albeo patrol team kafoni mkono aliye mundo kuleke. Ante kabre na di patrol team. When I was brought into the patrol team, first of all, 2012. Firstly, in 2012. Natra kosa to ming keta kani lai. We had a course in Kanyalai. Mr. Baji, please, before we get to 2012, mm -hmm. um, can you tell us if anything happened um, in 2000? And you joined in 2012. And when did you get to Kanyalai? Let me just 
Acquired it. What month was this? Karibu malengo tayari 2012. So before August, the preceding months, can you just tell us what you actually, um, what happened, what operations did you get yourself involved with? Janning August, you don't have to wait for me. I'm cutting, cutting. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow you. I'll be moving. I'm going to go. I know the man. The man mission did not 2012. We were not given a mission in 2012. Now tax. What time we maintaining? Yeah, I just make a travel. Cut a canilai. Our duties that time was that each time Yaya Jame was traveling to Kanilai, until a role moment in Bitalanga Silo, Ning Gibe, Kabo, Forest Auto. My role was to inspect the highway. Kajibe for abnormal gathering, mode gathering to Jamie and Kabelor in Puruka, Tajarin Deati in Manzala. To ensure that there is no gathering of people that may uh, cause any trouble for the president. So Walentela Siloti Kaboya and Katafo Sotokoi. So that was always my mission from here to Sotokoi. Nakata Kanila and Natambita Jentela Doko Bandale. Nakana Kombo Natambita Farato na Doko Bandanga Buso Kolo la Sambungafa Abe Farato. When he is going after he passes uh, Sotokoi, my rule ends there. And when he's coming back to Kombo, when he passes Farato, my mission also stops there. And I'll call Buso and tell him that he has passed Farato. Apart from that, the other missions that I was taken to were barbecues. Can you tell us what happened during these barbecues? First, if I'm following you, bang, I'll be a barbecue. Bang, we'll be in the area. Munna kakeje. Ah, in the barbecue, ni nara because sinya fulanga atend tavern. Well, there are barbecues when they come because I attended twice at tavern. Sabanjango nga problem no soto gole do oketa latir kunda bado le bije. Uh, the third one we had a problem and that was held in a bar in Latricunda. And you for the market to Marbuluba Carola. Before you got to the market on the right hand side. Because what pained me there? Because what pained me there? Nte ka bonam fo Casa Kunda. I lived all the way from Casa Kunda. Ni ben chikala ba on dela ka subu jano ke ni ben chikala e ka lole ye mbotu ye chika. When they are picking me up, they used to wait for me and pick me up because I am the one who does the barbecue. But nin say what was it? But when it comes to going home, Momo yala nyala mabula ndia motoko no? Everyone goes straight into their vehicles. Momo yala nyala mabula ndia motoko no ikanyinante lola. They always go along with their partners and they forget me. Seyo fango kolea. Even to go home I find it difficult. Adoni mfuta la kasa kunda aja ni mbefuta la biri kama fano kasa kunda fano keta. So before I get to kasa kunda it will be done. Nilungo latiri kunda antale benu nsubi janola. So on this day in latiri kunda I was the one. Uh, I can remember Jalino in Taraje. During the, the barbecue I remember uh, Jalino found me there. Nkai nyadine amota lete. I said to him so uh, how because uh, the barbecue is now ready. I bama nendiro ke. So he insulted uh, uh, the, my mother in a foul, foul, foul way. Ako amante bane I bama nendiro leke. Well he just, he just uh, made a... a so he said whether this meat is usually mixed up with some uh, local spiritual culture. He said to me whether this meat was usually mixed with uh, spiritual water to control their minds. Because these people, they never give us money. Only to call us to say that Oga has given us a sheep to eat. So that they become a day of uh, enlightenment for me. So that day, Jalino, when he was going home, he took me along. For Brigama. He took me up to Brigama. So I walked home. Mr. Baji, sorry, before you move on, who hosted these barbecues? I barbecue Jumale Jumale Kamarala. Noa Baji. Noa Baji. And Mustafa. Sane. And Mustafa Sane. And this is the same Noah Baji that General Saul Baji said would be um, supervising your ac your activities as the patrol team. Akonyi Noah Baji lom Noah Baji kilimuti General Saul Baji kali enko member tarla alla patrol team kulukuna. Ade. Yes. Do you know where the funds were coming from? Um, for the barbecues. Ako foya lo ne kolo kabo minto le pro ikao barbecue lo menu ke wanya. Alo nyuno kumachama le kafoje. You know these people, so many things are said about them. Anin na barbecue, nteka kumachama le mbeti wanga kumachama mwe dolkafo ni nyamochika. 
Even in the barbecue, uh, I used to hear the that, 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 that uh, even uh, the proceeds that come out of the sale of the cannabis that they bring along, when, they, when they sell and they are, and share the money and there's left over, so they took that uh, remainder, the balance, go buy a ship and bring that and try to use that to fool the rest of us. And um, do you know if this uh, Kololi Taban location was the base of the junglers? Yes, they they had a base. Which is not the same as Kololi Taban. But now when they go jamah be the Tiroli, what time of bay be the for bay for bay I can't remember for bay or bay. I know there are other people there, our friends. There was one they called Bay Obai. Time of Olebe Marin Jela. He was the one in charge of the place. Ah, ngalo ni mo jama teriata o time o. I know that because he was uh, friends with uh, so many people at the time. Tukong kaje bakele aning nyabali nyol. I used to see him a lot on many occasions with like with mm. people like nyabali. Kololi Tavan was it a residence? Ako Kololi Tavan. Munta mola tara dula suolem jeti bang fumunen jeti. Ah, anta be phone ola baran na miroto. I can't say all, but in my thinking, because babi jele, because there is a there was a bungol bije malom bungol ning. There were also mola be steering jee for bati ola tamba. There was also a building. I do not know whether it was a residential place or whether it belonged to the owner of the bar. And who who owned this bar? I don't know. I don't know who owns the place, but what I used to hear is that uh, the place is owned by this guy I'm saying, either B or by. Um, I was also after what the conduct of the junglers were like during these barbecue um, sessions. We've heard testimonies from witnesses uh, to say there was a lot of drinking going on, smoking of weed. Um, women were also being entertained um, during these um, um, get-togethers that they had. Can you tell us what your experience was when they had these barbecues? barbecues. <laughs> Kadu, phone, ye katara dolo miola le, tai katara sabakang, aning ka musolu fanalu nati je, ka ka katara mumanya le la je. Ah, wal dol fanang ka kela? Yes, some of those things happen. Wal dol bije fangoni kana lam barbecue la, ini la sungkuto le kana. Some of them, when they come for the barbecues, they come along with their girlfriends. Wal dol bije wal ke la fangoni nyabali beda me mimu na besti. Some of them mm. even spend the night where Nyabali was. Some of others also had their uh, rooms where they did their personal things after which they will go home. I think also drinking was the main reason why they, they would go to Tavan. I don't want them party last year. Because otherwise there were many places where one could have a party. Mm. Very well. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, that is um, all we have for, for now. We are going into the break now. Mr. Chairman, um, can we just finish, complete now for the break, and then come back? Thank you very much, Chairman Council. Thank you, Mr. Baji. We will take a 30-minute break and come back at um, 12.10. Uh, Thank you. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.